Unless you're here to kick some stiffs lakeside, I suggest you bugger off. <laughs> You gotta be kidding. These trash don't have nothing on them but rocks. Rocks. a shiny trinket on one of the corpses. Thank the Absolute. They're all yours. Absolute. Near dies, heads grow. And that goes for novices too. up some rocks let's see how the little pricks do when we strap fire to their legs <laughs> hm. not the most sophisticated way of getting what you want from someone is it move hoon i don't have time for drugna and outsiders dead drugman gek figured i could count on him lesson done well learned now move I've got no time for- The parasite stirs, but it's a mere tickle. You hear no thoughts or memories, just an echo of scars that never healed. A true soul, eh? Useless wreck of a lookout could have told me. Glad you're here to take responsibility. Tunnels collapsed, trapped true soul near. He's stuck in there with poisoned geezers. We don't get him out soon, it's both our heads. Not the head we'd like to see roll, unfortunately. Not a one. Unless you count tacking Aboleth fangs to my whipping cane. Place is older than bone dust. Previous tenants left a trap. Dropped a shit ton of metal once we dug a ways in. Get near out, and you'll have the Absolute's blessing. No doubting that. Entrance to an ancient temple. General's orders, Nier said. Must contain something important. He got me to recruit non-believers. But not everyone's seeing the Absolute's truth. They don't get paid soon. I'll have a riot on my hands. Never thought I'd see these back. Nasty sneak gave even Gek the slip. these ones. You need a stiff cane to keep them in line. Here then. His bounty's yours. That's so. Set it near the rubble and ignite it. That'll blow the drow out. You stop digging again and I'll bleed you dry! Seems like a good moment to talk. Ah, oh, it's you. The mascot of my ill fortunes. Much as I'd love to chat, I'm not allowed social breaks. These brutes are no mere goblins. I doubt you could take them on. You will. If you are successful, that would be most convenient. Let's see. As you near the rubble, a fragmented voice clutches at your mind. True soul! True soul! Finally, you must clear rubble, filling poison! 
Expedition. Passage trapped. Gnomes useless. Don't trust Burks. Get me out. View through Nir's eyes is a blur. You only make out a bit of rubble and few moving figures. resolves into an image. Two gnomes feverishly removing debris, while two others lie dead at Nia's feet, their flesh scorched by powerful magic. You sense Nia's frustration, tinged with rage, as the connection fades. words all but lost in the hot air. Langbuck, hush! We're being watched. We're working as we can, sir. Very hard indeed. Glittering gods. She actually survived. Praise Iron Hand. Lerida. Our prayers are answered! Sir, our friends are trapped in the cave-in. And I know a way to get them out. Bug, please! Truce or near will... You know what he'll do. What? No! Lungbug, you can't! I... I've got no choice, Lerida. We have to chance it. A few days back, there was a... A scene. Our friend Philomene, she's a sapper set off a blast and ran off. We set a spot for hiding if someone found trouble. I'll mark your map. If Philomene made it, you'll find her there. She'll have the stuff to blow that tunnel wide open and get Beldron and the rest out. Please, please don't hurt my Phil. I beg you. Hurry! Our people won't last in that cave-in forever. Seems like a good moment to talk. Seen her run with a barrel under her arm. Just a small one, but enough to blow the drow out. Someone should grab it. Slaves are never gonna manage with pickaxes. Can't go chasing maybes. The sergeants are ticket in. Oh, would you look at that, Kerr? Someone's having a listen. A shiver runs through you. Your mind is awash with ancient resentments. True soul, no less. What do you think, Kerr? Uh, should we take Nia's debt off him? Yet you got that twat soul stench. If I didn't know better, I'd say a mind flayer shat a worm in your brain. Should split your head open and poke around in there if you lot don't pay up. The shiver returns. This time it's colder, sharper. The stench don't lie. You're one of them. Could be you're right. Something's different with you. In that case, want to earn some gold? Ain't my gold I'm offering. It's the true souls. Thrins after the absolute glory. That's why she's got those slaves digging for Nia. But we ain't need glory. Just coin. And Nia's got plenty. Help Thrin free Nia. Then you and my chums grind him up. Whatever the spoils, we'll drop you a fat cut. You in? Fine. Half 
if it is, but first, we need to take care of something. You've seen that weird orb I floating about? Knife it, and don't get caught. The cult watches through it, and we can't risk more twat souls showing up. You still standing about? Get on it. Some days back, a slave gnome bolted with smoke powder. Handy stuff. Her crew know more than they're letting on. See if you can get them to talk. Now move. You're hogging my air. What a day. With pleasure. As well that ends. Well, not as bad as it could have. Something over there. Crying eye seems oblivious to you. Seems simple enough. now. Hold it! I swear to Iron Hand. One more step and a blow is to Trump's. An ashen scent fills the air. The barrel is filled with smoke powder. Chuck! The gnome's well and truly mad. Shut your mouth, Hoon! Or I'll shut you down. Drug! Dropping my name like your culty stars knows me. Like we're friends. I know what you are. One of Nia's cult goons. Sailed right in. Better to die in this shit eat than rot in Moonrise. You want me? Come get me. Lorida. Ruddy mind games. I, I know all about your tricks, true soul. Shit. I can't do it. Go on. Drag me to Moonrise. I'll make you cult nutters suffer. You want to waste rune powder on... Look. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Any true Iron Hand would trade their life for a grain of this stuff. It's the whole damn reason we're here, and I'm not leaving without it. But let me go. Maybe I'll spare you a vial. Rune powder is no mesh folklore. An explosive of awesome power handed down to the gnomes by their war god. 
Girdle Iron Hand, a formula so dangerous it was stricken from history, if it ever existed to begin with. <laughs> We've heard the same ones, I bet. A fistful of fire that can turn cities to dust. Well, it's real. And I need to bring it back to Baldur's Gate. I'd rather my clan were with me, but the mission comes first. A vial's what I can spare you. Look. We're freedom fighters. We need this powder to prove a point. To people who really need a point proven to them. Let me go. And you'll be on the right side of history. That's all I can say. A barrel of this could light up the Underdark. A vial is plenty. Just let me go my way. Listen, you see Larida at the dig? Tell her I'm dead, impaled, half eaten. I don't care. Make up a story. I'm not sure I blame her, though Larida might. Beloved? I might have been hers. She sure as hell wasn't mine. I'm getting the rune powder back to Baldur's Gate. Alone. Finally. Worthless slaves. Your incompetence has been my ruin. Nay, does not fail. You care for the weak true soul. Most curious. You heed an overgrown toadstool, yet defy a true soul. Thryn, carve out his heart and serve it to the Rothe. If he indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save him. Damn right it's time. You owe my crew a ten days worth of coin near, and the reckoning's come. You bargained with this wretch. How vexing. Near is not without mercy, true soul. The rat has given you a chance to earn my favor. Strike him down. Prove your faith. Heretics, let near be your end. Shindil Rin's shit house. You see it. Stench had a regular in his skull. All the more reason to clear out. Here's your cut. Extra, too, like I promised. Clan, grab your gear, wipe your asses. Time I scrammed before more pricks from Moonrise Towers move in. Clan property, they come with us.
<laughs> You've got a point. Likely to be all hobbled up, what with the lashings. No pricks! You're off the hook! Scram before I get my senses! Your brain going mushy, Shark. That's where those absolute freaks hold up. Goblins, drow, gnolls, even humans. Ain't no one they won't try to turn. The way I hear tell, some prick there calls the shots. The general near called him. And there ain't no way I'm sticking around long enough to meet him. We're together. That's what matters. Damn drow. He did this to your object catches your eye. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. Is this the moon lantern we've heard so much about? A thick layer of dust coats the bottom of the lantern. Broken. This might make passing the Cursed Lands complicated. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. This is pixie dust, used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. It seems like a good moment to talk. I'm here. Beldron! I was so worried! Did Nir hurt you? No, no, I'm all right. Did the sergeant hurt you? Oh, who cares? We're together now, thank Iron Hand. <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gadel Ironhand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. <laughs> I'm grateful, don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? <laughs> Glittering gods! I should have known that one was too damn stubborn to die. Here. The Iron Hand gnomes honor their debts. With Walbrun gone, that falls to me. Make it quick. We need to find Walbrun. Now! You're a little late, Barkus, my lad. He's already been sent to Moonrise Towers. We were just slave hands to the cult, but not Walbrun. He knows things. Things they want to know, too. What has he gotten himself mixed up in now? How did you... Well, you're a sharp one. Most still believe it's a fairy tale. I know I did, once. But not Walgren. He bloody found it. A small cache buried down here with a manuscript. He just made sense of the formula when the cult jumped us, so he burned the damn thing. If there's a single copy left, it's sitting in his head. Those absolutists pull it out and make rune powder, they could flatten the whole of the Sword Coast. Not long enough. My people can barely stand, and we have business back in the city. <sighs> that business is what sent us after the powder to begin with. Now, we'll have to make other arrangements. And just like that, you'd leave Walbrun behind? I knew you lot were foolish, but I didn't know you were cruel. If you knew half as much as you think, my lad, Walbrun might have kept you around. And neither will this twit, apparently. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake. Then, on to the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll 
raise a glass to Walbrun together. Did they suffer? Discussion. Peace bringer. Be at home. The drow sought to shatter our circle. Now his flesh may feed its growth. In dealing death, you have brought this circle life. And thus we name you Life Chanter. As our circle grows, so shall your song. Wherever you go, only listen. And you may hear it. Never wanted the easy path. Seems like a good moment to talk. How peculiar. Smooth face, cobbled edges. They're a sign. They must be. A sun dweller in these parts. Look here, my topside friend. I need fresh eyes, and I doubt I'll find fresher. The rock, the rubble, all of it, if I may be so bold. Take a look. Tell me what you see, and be thorough. Several glassy stones stand out in the debris. Their borders are coated with tiny yellow crystals. The hottest of flames smoothed the stone and left sulfuric crystals behind. The fires of the hells have touched Grimforge. Boulders and stone bricks of various sizes clutter the corridor. Many split cleanly in two, yet some walls remain fully intact. No quake brought these rocks down. They were smashed through in an instant. Something big charged through here. Something very big. What do you think? Statues meandering curves and golden edges stand out against the weathered masonry behind it. You consider the differences, but they mean nothing to you. Anything standing out? Yes, the rubble. Oh, it was a great beast that tore these walls down. I should have known. Sulfur? Of course. The rocks have been altered by Hellfire! Alas, you've left me with more questions than answers. My survey continues. Well, let's see what you've got. No traps, please.
look at the skeletons, you realize they are all clad in the same dark armor. Dark Justicia uniforms. These were Shah worshippers. The same as me. Powerful enough to take her own revenge, I'm sure. No need for us to get involved. You, grab a cane and whip these droogning beasts into shape. That rubble needs clearing. And my patience is hanging on by an arse whisker. And it sounds like your arse wants for a lashing, the way you talk out of it. Something spooks the dumb shits. So stop your join and get to working. You got no need to know, and I got no need to tell. So get to caning, or to leaving. A slight glint catches your eye. The glint fades before your eye finds its source. Uh, fine. Look at this. Adamantine. Stuff's no joke. Stronger than steel, rarer than mithril. It ain't mined, it's made. There's an adamantine forge back there, sure as shitting. Don't get any smart ideas. That forge is clan property. But get the beasts moving and I'll toss some coin your way. Go on then. Light a fire under the buggers. What's up for discussion? The creature is disturbed, its breath quickened by anger and fear. The Rothe seems calmer in your presence. Its eyes flicker towards the Dwegar. Burning with raw, bestial rage. The Rothe regards its Dwegar captors balefully, then utters a deep, angry bellow. The Rothe have lost it. Put him down, and the shark, too. The Rothe tenses, then nods.
lovely. Held together by rust and hope. Whatever comes, I'm ready. Wits and blades always sharp. Trust no one. Let's go. All's well that ends. Oh, not as bad as it could have. On my way. Still alive. So that's progress. Another mask. I recognize this. American wore it. But they won't fight without a commander.
to find a way for the hills. This must be the forge. What a sight to behold. of the lake's disturbance is surely... I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Oh, come! <laughs> the amulet is heavy, but holds a subtle warmth. Like it was left under the sun. Suddenly, the metal surges with heat. You feel great power and an overwhelming urge to laugh. <sighs> Can thou endure? Step toward madness. <laughs> Thou art the one. Return me. Take me home. And thou shalt grow with blessings. To thy granddaughter, Shira Clarwen. Serves Ilmata, she does. She waits in Worms Crossing. Take me there. And thou shalt bathe in her golden gifts. Oh, thou shalt be blessed indeed. <laughs> on water, dew on grass. Sharons broke my body, but my spirit they could not. Well, not completely. <laughs> Thou shalt return me home. It is written. That thing's tainted. Better to leave it than bear a dead man's grudges. and arcs are etched into the metal, but you see no pattern in them. Just so.
no less dramatic. <laughs> Stay idle. Still on my feet. Let's see. Not a lick of damage. Victory is mine. The Guardian's fallen. I will take my pick. <laughs> 